Okay, I'm here at Colonial Wine and Spirits on Southwestern Boulevard in Orchard Park, New York. Taking a look at ammunition cask strength that's finished in a Cabernet Sauvignon. That was pretty decent. I tried it. Here's a bullet store pick. Seems like almost every store has a bullet store pick. And over here, this is just phenomenal. It's their Woodford Double Oaked store pick for $64.99. And we scoot over to this section, and it's their Dickel pick. Now, I have a Dickel 15, and I think it's a 17. So I'm not in the market for a Dickel 9. Heard a lot of stuff about the Dad's Hat Pennsylvania Rye. And this three chord pick is interesting because it's finished in a Vino de Naranja. I know I said that wrong, but that was good. It wasn't like a bitter orange, but you definitely get an orange off of it. And <clears throat> if I don't get the Heaven Hill 18, I might go back and get that three chord because it was interesting. All right, so this is just a random display. You'll see those in other parts of the store. Sazerac. So Sazerac rye recently dropped in the area, and everyone has a pick, it seems like. Uh, there's the Bills Mafia and Larceny A124. That's a decent price for that. I might run back and get that one. I'm not sure. I have... A lot of larceny picks. Sinatra typically goes for around 200, which is too much for me. That peg leg porker that we just passed is actually interesting, and Castle and Key is something I can live without. Um, I like the small batch, and then these Cooperstown bottles here, they're pretty gimmicky. The golf club, football. Baseball. The sour mash is just okay. And over here, 13 Monkeys. I think they're local. I remember I tried some of their stuff at a local event, and it was okay. More Cooperstown gimmicky stuff. And we've already seen the small batch and the ammunition. Baker 7 is at around $60. Then we have the Discoveries here. So we have the Goose Island here and the Four Square Rum. And we have the Discoveries 7, 8, and 9. And there's the Fusion Series. And that was a rye in Cherry Oak. Uh, the Barrel Bomb I've never heard of is kind of interesting. i kind of bumming that I missed uh, getting Eddie Belfour's autograph on that Belfour that we just passed. Uh, the um, Judge, it seems like every store has gotten one or two bottles. That is interesting. Uh, this is a lower proof Hartman's bottle at 86 I did a pick for another store. It's at a higher proof. And the Garrison Brothers, that Balmoria, I don't, probably saying it wrong, but that was delicious. I tried it at another store. They had a bottle open. Uh, this Curly, this is really interesting to me. It's supposed to be... Um, Wild Turkey Reject Barrels. When I say Reject Barrels, it doesn't fit their profile. And this Good Night bottle is also interesting. It's a Texas whiskey, but um, I don't know. Can't pull the trigger on that one yet. Horse Soldier. I remember I came in and stopped and tried the Horse Soldier products. 
uh, a guy what representative was there signing bottles. I probably should have bought one at that point in time. The Jefferson Ocean products, not a big Jefferson Ocean fan. I tried the Jimmy Red a couple times and um, not for that price, not for $80. Joseph Magnus, those are standard prices. The Takumi, that can sit there forever. That is not one of my favorites. I have that bottle. And I should have caught that price because I think we paid considerably more and it's dropping in price because, you know, it's just okay. Haven't really gotten into any pin hook, but here's a variety of pin hook problems. And Penelope, that age nine years is interesting one foot cock is local and uh, old elk I do have a bottle of the cigar cut here and I'm going to be going to Malam and Green I'm going to be going to a tasting slash dinner maybe you know just pickings uh, at Hartman's Distillery the Southern Star Paragon, that's another bottle I'm interested in. And now we have some of the lower end. We got the Wheel Horse. Um, but we do have the uh, Lucky 13 and the Vaults. And I do have the Vaults. That's an expensive bottle, so I guess it's not lower end down there. Here's their Buffalo Trace store pick. And that's... $50 uh, store just down this aisle here I didn't even know um, oh this is the rye section it's kind of in the center so we're looking at a bunch of ryes. They threw some Sazeracs up there. Wilderness Trail Rise, decent. Um, got your Smoke Wagons and your Sagamores I really like. I like the Cask Strength Sagamore and I have the Double Oaked Sagamore at home. Those are solid. And I tried the Piggyback 6 and... Here are some different whistle pigs, a wide variety. I heard someone raving about the apple smoked rye from Widow Jane. I tend to stay away from Woodenville products now since I had a bad experience with it. We go on the other side of the um, aisle here and we have some High West products. We got a new whiff, new whiff, yeah, new riff rye. So we got a lot of ryes here. There was some, uh, there was a little bourbon mixed in there. There's the dad's hat again, which I need to go there and try because, like I said, it's supposed to be really good. And. We got some stuff here just mixed in bullet and here's your basil Hayden's now the malted rye sounds interesting and the seagrass I love that angels envy rye and that Alberta premium is interesting it's supposed to be a really good uh, rye Now, I didn't even know this section existed. I probably should have did this first. There's a lot of budget whiskeys down this aisle. And we got my boots there. And if we just take a look, I'll zoom in in a second. You can see nothing too stellar. And 
we have some basil hayden up there and we scoop down here and we got some knob creek now the smoke maple i don't know the 18 just can't pull the trigger on it even though that's an okay price you got your budget larcenies and four roses here that toasted barrel though is one of my favorites and that is a decent price for the toasted um there's their store pick for elijah craig and we got our flavored whiskeys down below some evan williams i really don't need any more evan williams products not that big of a fan there's their flavored versions down here we can just skip through the flavored stuff screwball and fireball i don't even know if that's still a thing and the old smokies on the bottom bird dogs they got all the different flavored whiskeys and we're going to go on the end cap here we have old granddad and we're going to swing around and this is the jack daniels end cap jack daniels fire Well, we got over here some wild turkey. Let me know if there's anything on the shelves in the videos that was interesting to you that you want me to look back at and um, comment on. Or if there's something that I didn't mention that I should be considering buying. All right, so here's your Jim Beam bottom shelfers. Kind of whipping through these right here. Uh, some flavored stuff not going to be buying that's the uh, jd mclaren series mclaren mclaurin wild turkey 101 and i can't believe we're going to finish this video with the flavored whiskeys unbelievable a little old tub on the bottom again You know what I didn't see? I don't think I saw a rare breed anywhere on the shelves. Now I must have missed it or they don't have it. And Old Forester products. Yeah, I don't recall seeing too many Old Forester products e either. That's kind of odd. I wonder what other things that, that they don't have that I missed. Or that I missed. <laughs> 